right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be rescaping a 55 gallon and moving some fish into the 55 gallon so stick around all right guys so first thing first this is the aquarium that we will be rescaping the giant grommy was in here uh, I'm going to do a small little water change on it I got to get uh, all this debris and stuff out of here and then we'll go ahead we'll add in our gravel I bought another background for it. we'll add the background on there and then I also bought some scaping materials and we'll add that in also so let me go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and then I'll get back with you guys alright guys so I went ahead and cleaned the tank up a little bit got most of the debris off the bottom I'm going to go ahead and put in some gravel and then I'm going to put a background on here. I got a new background that I'm going to put on here. And then I got some uh, I got some scape to put in here that actually kind of complements the background. So let's go ahead and get right into that. guys so I got the substrate in there I just went with a black substrate uh, for the fish that are gonna go in here uh, I think they're gonna look amazing on this black on black and then with this uh, scape that I got it should just bring everything together and then uh, next thing to do is go ahead and put the background on so I'm gonna do that all right guys so I went ahead and uh, cleaned the back of the glass off real good so we should be able to see our background a little bit better once i uh, fill this tank up and then i let it the filter clear the water up then we'll be able to see our background better and then the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and put some scape in there for these fish so they have some places that they can hide and feel safe in. all right guys so I lost some of the footage of me uh, scaping the tank and I uh, also added some uh, better lids to the tank. So I'm not going to be able to uh, show you guys any of that stuff, obviously, but I can show you guys the finished product of the 55 gallon. And then we will also add some fish in there. Uh, I put a different filter on there. I took that small canister off. Now move that down to the end of the fish room down there on the 40 breeder with the uh, baby African cichlids. And I'll show you guys those, the African cichlids too because you guys haven't seen those yet. So let me get the camera turned around. Oh, oh, before I turn the camera around, we also got uh, two new fish in the fish room. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that so uh yeah let me get the camera turned around and i'll show you guys that. all right guys so down here in the 40 breeder uh we got some more eggs tumbling in there 
those are just uh, baby Africans. And then the other African sickles that were in there tumbling are now out swimming. Uh, they actually got pretty big within the last... I just moved them four days ago, so they got pretty big in four days. Uh, but I do do a lot of water changes. I do big water changes when I do them. So I'm pretty sure that's why... They're growing so fast. And those are uh, fryer eye babies. I know it's kind of hard to see them just because they're so small in that tank. And then the sand is black and white. And they're pretty much gray and white. All right, guys. So down here in the 20 long where we have our two peacock bass, we got two black bar silver dollars. And then we have one Oscar and one uh, chocolate cichlid right here. We also picked up this guy right here, which is a horned cichlid. It's a, it's actually a tilapia is really what it is. Um, I have had these in the past, but it has been very hard to get these guys uh, locally around here. And I just happened to bump into this guy at one of the fish stores, and I went ahead and picked them up. I've been looking for one for a long time, so I was pretty glad to uh, be able to find this fish. All right, so down here we got the 125. Uh, actually, uh, I added that driftwood back in there, and I went ahead and switched the background out on there. I think it looks a lot better like that. Um, <clears throat> in this tank, we did pick up the uh, red tail catfish uh, shorty mac is what the, his name is or her name uh, got it from boss aquatics he went ahead and donated it to me so we can get it uh, growing out over here and then i'm pretty sure it's going to end up going back over to boss aquatics because i don't have the space for it once it gets uh full grown but shorty mac is here at Mr. Feed the Fish's house and is doing pretty good eating anything. All right, guys, so here's the tank, uh, the final reveal of it. I went ahead and put in some, uh, I put this rockscape in there. I thought it would uh, kind of complement the background on there. And then I went ahead through this driftwood in there, out the African Cichla tank. Uh, I redid the African cichlid tank. I'll show you guys that too. Um, I went ahead and got some Anubias, put that on the, the driftwood, and then of course we got us a piece of Java fern there, uh, just to see how it does in this tank. So tonight we are going to uh, add all the the fish that are down in the twenty gallon to the fifty five gallon. So let's go ahead and get into that.
All right, guys, so I got all the fish in. Of course, they're all hiding because they just got in there. So I probably won't be able to give you guys too good of a look this time, but uh, we'll see them again. There's the Oscar down there. Him and that chocolate sickle, they don't really get along. Uh, there's the chocolate sickle right there. I know you guys can't see them. It's too dark. But the chocolate sickle, it is right there. And then we got our black bar silver dollars in there. And, of course, our peacock bass, which are probably behind that same rock over there. So everybody's hiding. You can see the peacock bass right there on the, the side panel back in the back. Both of them are back there. All right, you guys, so that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I just wanted to uh, bring you guys along and let you guys see the new fish. We got the um, we got the hornet cichlid, and we also got that uh, red tail catfish, Shorty Mac, from Boss Aquatics. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, when he gifted me the catfish, make sure you go to his channel and uh, watch that when he brought the fish over and uh, gave it to me. Let me take you guys down here and show you guys the African cichlid tank because I did something to that too. All right guys, so here's the African cichlid tank. I didn't really do too much to it. I just uh, removed that piece of driftwood that was in the middle that you guys just seen down there in a 55 gallon. And I went ahead and just put some more rocks in there just to uh, kind of get them places to run, hide, just do what African cichlids do pretty much. They uh, they like to dart around, they like to hide in tunnels and caves and stuff. So I just went ahead and added in just some more escape in there, just something simple, just for them just to have somewhere to feel safe at. And I put plenty of it in there all the way across just so... Uh, the fish are not just all stuck in one side or one corner, one tunnel or one cave or whatever the case might be. So that is what I did with the African cichlid tank. Our zebra oblique ones still are not showing any signs of uh, being a male. So I guess we just have to be patient and wait on that. So I just pretty much wanted to bring you guys along and let you guys see uh that i was moving the fish from the 20 gallon they were in quarantine i've quarantined all of them now for uh several weeks nobody's uh got any parasites or anything everybody's doing good i got everybody eating uh they actually everybody in there are, are is eating uh brine shrimp i haven't yet to give them pellets yet just because i always when i get my fish i try to fatten them up uh, as much as i can before i start trying to uh, wing them onto another food, which I'm pretty sure that the cichlids uh, will eat pellets. I'm pretty sure that the uh, silver dolls will eat pretty much anything I give them. But the bass, I have tried to give them shrimp and they wouldn't eat the shrimp. So I'm just going to give them uh, the brine shrimp for now. And then eventually those guys will uh, be winged over to eating shrimp and other things like that. I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys and uh, do some other stuff I got to do in the fish room. So until next time, guys, remember, always feed the fish. Holler.